Welcome to The Condo Voice. My name is Linda Pinizzato, and I'm the founder president of the Condo Owners Association. We've got lots to talk about today out there. Most people don't seem to really understand a whole great deal of condos or condominiums as uh, the longer form version. You know, it's interesting. Every time you turn around, you open up the newspaper. What do you see? They're talking about condos. They're talking about building another condo and also the amount of condominium owners there are across the province. You know, this morning I got up and I had to take a look at uh, what is a condominium. I decided to go into Wikipedia because, you know, Wikipedia knows everything. That's what we do. We check into Wikipedia and then we can find out exactly what things are and what they mean and all the different information about them. So now, are you re- you have to brace yourself for this one. Wikipedia says a condominium is a form of housing tenure and other real property where a part of a specified part of a piece of real estate, usually of an apartment house, is individually owned while use of and access to common facilities in the piece, such as hallways, heating system, elevator, exterior areas, is executed under legal rights association with the individual ownership and controlled by the association of owners that jointly represent ownership of the whole piece. I don't know about all you, but I'm completely confused because I have no idea what I just finished reading. And I think that Wikipedia needs to come up with the times. You know, the uh, the first high-rise condo called the Horizon House was built by Minto back in Nepean, now Ottawa. Uh, it actually registered in 1967. So I got to say that when I read that explanation, I, I look back at possibly 1967. So <laughs> mind you, we didn't have computers back then. We probably didn't have Wikipedia. But somewhere along the way, I think we need to update this. The bottom line is, here at the Condo Voice, we will be giving you all sorts of information geared towards condominiums. This is the voice, and this is the place that you need to tune into to learn about new construction existing condominiums, how your board of directors are operating, maybe even some things to do with um, pet controls in the building, your declaration. How come yesterday you went over to uh, HomeSense and you bought a beautiful um, striped curtains? They looked fabulous. You put them up on your window and now the board has come and told you you have to take them down. Well, you like them, but uh, I don't think that they look great on the outside. So we'll explain to you why. Uh, These are parts and parcels of the whole condominium world that a lot of people really don't know. Interesting enough, you know, there's uh, another side of condos, and uh, they are called co-ops. Now, you know, most people don't realize that either. A condominium co-op is actually a shared ownership of owners. So you don't actually own a unit. Uh, you, you pretty much own an entire body of the entire building, and then a unit is delegated to you. So there's a whole other subject out there having to do with housing co-ops and uh, how they came about and you know what the, uh, the differences are between the two condominiums and co-ops. So if you're actually out there and you're paying attention to the, some of these things, you're going to really kind of be amazed at the differences between the two. I think uh, getting back into condominiums, you know, if you're coming along, you're walking downtown Toronto, the entertainment district, everywhere you turn is going to be a condominium. Here in Mississauga, we have the same thing down right across from city center. Uh, The entire area is seeing one development after the other. Absolute Towers has done amazing. I mean, they've uh, really created an identity for the city of Mississauga. And that's important. And interesting enough, I mean, when you're looking at styles of condominiums, you have a townhouse, you have a stacked townhouse. So what's that? What exactly is a stacked townhouse? Stacked townhouse is one townhouse on top of the other on top of the other. (laughs) So you could have two stories, six stories high, and you've got three that are literally all on top of one another, but they're forming one building. So if you break it down, that's what that would be. And of course, you've got low rise and high rise condominiums. You know, nowadays, they, uh, years ago, they used to build them at 10 stories. Now they're 20, 30, 50, 60 stories high. 
Sometimes you can close your eyes and open them and take a look around you and think, okay, are you actually in Mississauga or are you in Dubai? Because the height is going higher and higher. We'll get more into the uh, interesting comments about condominiums and more knowledge uh, in a few more moments. Thank you.